right? Well, but Marxism has killed a lot more people than Hitler. Everywhere it's tried, it results in famine, impoverishing, death, destruction. I mean, every failed country on the planet right now, including North Korea, is some form of a Marxist dictatorship. Well, if, if, so why is it hard to denounce that? Because it's easier for me to denounce fascism. Mm -hmm. why, why the struggle to just say, you know, Marxism, bad, evil, end of story? Why can't we agree on that? Well, Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. The performance today will have a very interesting video from Charlie Kick titled Charlie Kick can't believe what he hears from a cocky Marxist college student. Wow. Believe me, this video is going to be very educative. As we all know, Charlie Kick is a very intelligent man. Let's see how he's going to address this question. Let's start with the video. I just want to start off by saying that it's always great to be politically active than to not be politically active. So I thank you for that. Um, but I do want to start off by saying earlier I was outside protesting, as I usually do on campus, with a sign that says, tear the fascists down. Tear the fascists now, down. Now, for those who don't know what fascism is, it's an ideology associated with Nazism. As I had this sign, not affiliated to anybody, I had a group of individuals come up to me saying openly they were fascists attending your event and called me the F word while I had it. It's not loud. Okay. Now, I am not here to call you a fascist. I'm not. As I know you're not a Nazi sympathizer, you've never openly sympathized Nazism. I can see that. But people who openly call themselves fascists are here and are not afraid to admit they are fascists. So my question is, will you denounce fascism today as the definition online puts it as an ideology including racial nationalism and authoritarianism okay. today? Yes, uh, will you denounce Marxism as the greatest killer of human beings in the last hundred years? Well, describe Marxism to me. I'm sorry, what? Describe Marxism okay. to me. Uh, the ideology that Mao Zedong, Joseph Stalin, Vladimir Lenin, and Pol Pot employed to the massacre of our It did kill millions of people. You're right. Correct. Okay, so I'll denounce fascism. You denounce Marxism. Yeah? Hey. Well, I would have to say, like, by definition. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So my thing is that was it Marxism itself or was it a materialistic condition that caused that? Because as Marxists, what we do say is that there's material conditions that contribute material to Material conditions. Now, you probably aren't familiar with dialectical materialism. I'll try to explain it real quickly. No, I, I've read the phenomenology of spirit, and I, I, I know Hegel. But okay. no, but, but, te but tell me, uh, so but why not denounce Marxism? I mean, what, so Mao Zedong, Mao Zedong, Marxist, Lenin Marxist, Joseph Stalin Marxist. I'll denounce Joseph Stalin for you, definitely, yes. Joseph but, Stalin was an authoritarian leader who definitely killed millions of Ukrainians during the export of grain to, of course, um, build up their economy. But there's nothing about, you don't think there's anything it's about the ideology that leads history. to the suffering and impoverishing or the well, murdering? Well, just like how Hitler called himself a socialist, it's not the ideology, it's just what you actually do at practice. Okay. Yes, he did call himself a socialist. Yeah. And, but he was not a Marxist. He was not, yeah. But he was, the National Socialist Workers' Party is the actual name of Nazism. But mm -hmm. where has Marxism ever worked? Well, I wouldn't say that Marxism itself has ever actually been tried. Now, of course, you can always say, like, oh, like, okay. you know, that's an easy communist getaway question to it, right? Well, but Marxism has killed a lot more people than Hitler. Everywhere it's tried, it results in famine, impoverishing, death, destruction. I mean, every failed country on the planet right now, including North Korea, is some form of a Marxist dictatorship. Well, if, if, so why is it hard to denounce that? Because it's easier for me to denounce fascism. Mm -hmm. why, why the struggle to just say, you know, Marxism, bad, evil, end of story? Okay. Why can't we agree on that? Hey. Well, because if you look at, I'll give the example of North Korea, what we did is that we went in there during the Korean War and destroyed all their factories, right? Now, what did this leave? This left an impoverished society where they now had no means to, of course, get their needs because their factories were destroyed. So that's number one on why North Korea. Now, I don't like North Korea. I'm just saying okay. that's one reason Has why. Has nothing to do with the Marxist no. leader? Nothing? He's so not a Marxist leader. I wouldn't consider himself a Marxist okay. leader. So what, what ideology is, is his? Okay. So the ideology of Marxism is simply that workers own the means of production. The workers in North Korea do not own the means of production. Would they have private property rights in North Korea? They don't. Then who owns the means of production? The government does. Oh, okay. Yeah, but in a Marxist society, hey, 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 no, but in a Marxist and that, society, that the would be that would be m m m Marxism? No, it's not, because the workers own the means of production, not the government. But, but who is the government? The government is the people, the bureaucrats. Oh, the bureaucrats so wait. control the power. Okay, and that would be the people, the bureaucrats, owning the means of production, otherwise known as Marxism? No. No, no, no. Hey, you know, hey, hey, literally, hey. the word definition of Marxism is that workers own. Workers own the means of production. Right. So where has that ever been tried or worked? You say it's never been tried ever? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Got it. So even though the hammer and sickle 
mm -hmm. and core Marxist ideology has been invoked repeatedly by these leaders, mm -hmm. you're saying, no, 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 not a Marxist, no, 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 not a Marxist, no, 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 not a Marxist. It's just one of, over a hundred times it has been tried on every single continent from Mugabe in Rhodesia, which became Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. to parts of India, okay. to China, to Korea, to parts of East, Eastern Europe, to Central and South America, to Venezuela, none of that is Marxist, even though they say they're Marxist. Well, it's temper, tempering with Marxism because you have sanctions and you bomb their country. So, I mean, if you want to call that Marxism, then if you sanction and bomb them, I guess that's Marxism. Wait, so hey, 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 hey. how have we sanctioned and bombed these Marxists? Like, like Venezuela. Like Venez Venezuela has sanctions to where we don't buy their oil anymore. Yeah, wh why do you think we're sanctioning them? Because they have Marxist ideologies that don't incorporate with capitalist ideology. Well, yeah, they're also like a quasi-terror state. But let's talk about Venezuela. Mm -hmm. Venezuela used to be rich and prosperous okay. when they had the private ownership of minerals. Mm -hmm. Why is Venezuela now one of the poorest countries in South America? What ideology caused that? See, but that's the thing, though. It's not the ideology. It's the practice. Now, you could say the practice is Marxism. But again, do the workers own the means of production in that country? Mm -hmm. Somebody does. Yeah, somebody does, but not the workers. Yeah, the government, so then, the government owns. So, I mean, in like the purest form of Das Kapital Marxism, mm -hmm. it is the government that comes in and abolishes private property. Correct? This is, of course, called the, I think, the dictatorship of the proletariat, I think is what you're referring to. Right. So, yeah. you, let me ask you a question. So, you believe in this like abstract Marxism that you don't ever want to denounce, even though it's been tried a hundred times. But if again, you say try, but we just said that it hasn't been tried because hey, we just hey, haven't hey, into production. Okay, well, why do you think that is? Because they use the swan song of Marxism, and Marxism will always result in an oligarchy or a dictatorship. Okay. Because you know why? It's impossible to quote unquote have the workers own the means of production because we don't share well as human beings. That's why only someone that has and with all possible due respect, an infant understanding of human nature can think communism can work because we're self-interested at our core. And you have an economic system that is built not on private property but on quote-unquote shared goods, you're going to have a dictator on top of it that is going to exploit and terrorize. And so you started this conversation by asking me to denounce fascism, which is responsible for about 10 to 15 million deaths, said okay. ideology. I'm pleading you one more time to denounce Marxism that is responsible for minimum 100 to 120 million deaths. Okay, academics have proven that wrong. That's not true. That's from the Black Book of Communism. That has How many people did Mao kill? Mao killed about 30 to 40 million. Oh, how many people did Stalin kill? Stalin killed about 20 to 30 million. Okay, now we're at like 60 million, and I just yeah. named like two countries, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, like, we're out of the gate, and we're at like 60 million. Okay? Yeah. So... I can keep on going, right, if you want to talk famine, impoverishing, lowering of standard of living. But I, what, I, what I want to just reiterate as we close this out, there's this pathological fascination with fascism, 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 and a complete ignoring that Marxism, which is the other side of the authoritarian coin, has been far deadlier, far more costly, and is far more popular. And I'll ask this final question. What do you think has a greater chance of catching on in America? Fascism or Marxism? I would say fascism. Okay. <laughs> you really think so? I really do believe that. Okay. The only way I would possibly agree with that is the left-wing fascists that shut up people on campuses and allow, you know, try to stop freedom of speech. But what, it's just, I, 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 I'm, I'm perplexed by your position and your inability and your unwillingness to denounce, denounce Marxism. I don't know how many, I mean, another hundred million people dead, maybe you'd change your mind. Thank you. Thanks. Wow. Wow. What an interesting topic. What an, an interesting answer by Charlie Kick. Can't believe what I hear from a cocky Marxist student. Wow. This really is very educative. And you can tell I really love the way the way the way the way the, the debate was was going. It's just like they were learning from they were learning from each other, and I at a point I I think I really admire the the, the gentleman, I admire the young man. I can see he's very vast in history. He's very vast in history, and he was trying to make Charlie Kick understand this point. Just like 
he, he rightly say that there is nowhere Marxist, Marxism or Marxist have been employed in practice, that for Marxists to be employed in, in practice, that the commoners, the workers, the employee have to, have to be in charge, have to be in charge. And I think that's the world is, is, is standing by that there's no way masses have been employed. And Charlie Kik was trying to make him understand that all the countries that have employed, employ masses ideology, that at the end of the day, it leads to loss of life and a lot of people lose their lives. That's the reason why he cannot accept Marxist ideology. And I think he was trying to make Charlie Kick, you know, deny fascism and accept Marxism. And Charlie Kick was also trying to make him understand that Marxist ideology has far, far led to a lot of, uh, far, far do a lot of damage to property and lives as compared to fascism and, uh, and i think charlie kick accepted the fact that uh, though uh, fascism just like he rightly says has also led to loss of lives he accepted that but he was trying to make him to understand that marxism has led to loss of millions of lives and property as compared to fascism and i think I love the way they were interacting. I love the way they were interacting. They, they try to understand each other. But a point in which I don't really understand, which I believe after this video, I really need to go and do my, after this video, I really need to go and do my research. The gentleman that, the gentleman, the student that asked the question was standing by his word that there is no way, there's no way, there's no government that have employed employed the the ideology of the Marxist. Uh, there's no government, there's no way masses have actually been practiced. There's no way masses have actually been practiced. And Charles Kick was also trying to make him make him understand that a lot of a lot of countries and governments have adopted the ideology of the Marxist and at the end of the day it led to it led to uh, loss of millions of property and and loss of lives. And I think at the ending of the video, Charlie Kick was trying to make him understand that it's not that fascism, it's not that fascism has not brought any damages, but if you look at the damages brought by Marxism, it's far, far, far as compared to the damage brought by fascism and i believe this video is very educative and like seriously i'm really ready to you know learn more after this video after this this video i'm going to go on google to learn more about fascism to also learn more about marxism wow this indeed is very educative i would like to hear your comments what do you think about what do you think about this topic marxism and fascism do you think do you think Marxism is better? Do you think Marxist is better than fascism? Do you think Marxism is better than fascism? And can you rightly help me to understand this ideology of the Marxist and the ideology of the, the fascist? Which do you think is better to employ? It? Wow, it's better to be employed. Wow. So keep the comments coming. Don't forget. Click on the subscribe button. Click on the like button. Do have a nice day. Bye.